What's up, everybody? You're in the captain's cabin. I'm your co-host. I'm Jeff Raider. And this is a podcast dedicated to the Raiders fans. Raider Nation. That's right. I'm East Coast Raider. That's right. We here. I'm from Massachusetts. I'm in the lion's den. So, to make a long story short, I wasn't going to start this podcast until, you know, after week one. After the games have started. But what this Antonio Clown did to our organization, he's got me seething. It should be a crime. You can't be doing stuff like that. He, you know, I'm of the opinion he did that on purpose. He knew he wanted to be in New England all along. And his slimy agent, Drew Rosenhaus, this was all a plan. This was all a plan. And I'm surprised Bill Jell- Belichick jumped on it. But what should we expect from him? We shouldn't expect any less from him. You know what I mean? I'm seething. I'm hurt. I'm sure you all are. We'll survive. You know, we'll survive. we got a lot of talent. This whole preseason was ruined. All they did was focus on Antonio Brown. His feet, his freaking head is what needs to be examined. Freak his feet. You know, Dennis the helmet. Got an endorsement deal from it. I- I'm just so mad. You know, I'm sure the whole nation is. But you know what? Raider Nation is loyal. We're fine with it. We don't need him. He de- let down a lot of people. Derek Carr, for one, claiming he loves Derek. Oh, I love you, bro. Yeah, right. You know? And then uh, he unfollows him on Instagram. Derek, what Derek do? You know, it's not right. I don't care. You know, I, I'm glad he's gone. I wanted him gone. I'm sure you do. Let Bill deal with him. Now let's see if he's going to be the patron saint, uh, the patriot way. I doubt that. If he does, well then, what's the secret? What's the secret, Bill? Anyway, let's talk positive. Enough of that clown show. He's gone. He's gone. Bye-bye. Good riddance. Anyway, right? This podcast is something I've wanted to do for quite some time. It's a great time to be a Raider fan. Great time. You know? And uh, the great one, Al Davis, he was prophetic. Said the greatness of the Raiders is in its future. That future is now. We're due. It's a great time to be a Raider fan. Great time. Great time to be a Raider fan. But I keep, uh, in the back of my mind, it's this Antonio Clown thing. It's so obvious he did this on purpose. I think he's chasing the ring. Somebody told him, yo, do it again. Do it again. You'll get out of there. They'll release you. Just act like a damn fool. You know what I mean? And he'll get out of here. He's a fake. It's a damn fake. Gruden tried. John Gruden, you're the man. I don't understand what all the John Gruden hate is for. He was so loved. Everybody loved him. Now, oh, can he even still coach? Come on, man. He's been in a booth for 10 years. Guy's a football coach. John Gruden loves the Raiders. He loves the history of the Raiders. That's why he came back. He's got unfinished business. He had, in 98, he made the Raiders fun again. He made them relevant and had um, had him on the precipice of a championship. I think he was getting too big for Al's britches. He had trucky dolls all over the stadium. He became bigger than the Raiders. Al didn't like it, so Al shipped him to Tampa. And what happens? He plays the team he built in the Super Bowl. That's right. That's what happened. It, it, it's crazy. I just want to say one more thing. Mike Mayock. You were the man. Nip that problem right in the bud. See ya. Get out of town. That foolishness. Now let's talk Raider football. We have the nucleus of a good young team. John brought his guys in. Captain Blood. That's what I call him. Captain Blood because he's ruthless, man. He wants to, he wants to end dreams. Create nightmares. I love that. Knock on wood if you're with me. 
<laughs> That's my dude. But check it, right? Our defense? Yeah, they have a problem with our defense. I think we've got some great new pieces on that defense. Fontes Perfect. Jonathan Abram. Lamarcus Joyner. Joseph can bang. Good young ends and Crosby and Farrell. I mean, we've got some pieces and give us some time to gel. It's, it's going to take a few weeks. I think there'll be a lot more improved. They will be. The offense is going to have to carry the defense. And we're going to have a good offense. We're going to have a great offense. Okay, that Josh Jacobs kid. He's quiet. We didn't see him at all in hard knocks. I hope he's the type that just wants to let his actions uh, speak for him on the field, unlike somebody else we know. You know? But as far as Derek Carr, I believe in you, Derek Carr. We believe in you. This is a six year. The guy's got a cannon of an arm. He's got heart. He's got dog in him. He's got dog in him. Do me a favor. If you liked the video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's take this journey together. See you next week.